welcome to the channel please follow me let us place photos side by side in photo p i will be using my channel members uh, photos for this tutorial and the first person is a uh, ma uh, trudy she's into lifestyle relationship health and all good stuff so please help me subscribe to her channel and then go watch her videos and enjoy yourself okay and the second person is the unique ne marama so here uh v unique is into healthy lifestyle motivational speech lifestyle and the family blog and equally cooking so please if you are not a subscriber to her channel yet please kindly help me subscribe to her channel go watch her videos and show her love so now with the help of this beautiful chrome's extension this hoover zoom plus i will be able to get their pictures the easy way so if i place my mouse on this can you see how beautiful it is that is the work of the hoover zoom plus so what i will do now is go crop this picture but before then i will show you what to do here is on screen keyboard what you have to do is to hold on the windows key the shift key and the letter s that will give us the slipping tool uh but i can't do that with this uh on screen keyboard i just wanted to show you what you can do on your keyboard i will close it so right now i will place my mouse here and then go for windows key shift key and letter s then i will use this rectangular snip and then make sure i get it Here we go automatically that will be saved to clipboard so what i have to do is to go to file to p the best editing app the best editing application so here i will go for new project and uh, let me go select youtube cover and click ok i will have to right click blending tools then color of lay i will go select something like so okay so let me go for edit and paste that picture that was copied to a clipboard then once you're here make sure that you go for this move tool and make sure that this auto select is shake then let's move this to somewhere here and uh, let's go get uh, my as a uh, picture so i will place my mouse on her profile picture and go for shift key windows key and letter s then let me go get this copy to clipboard so but before then this is what we're gonna at the end of this video this is what you're gonna see you can see how they are placed side by side so what we can do here is to go back to file to be go for edit and paste now i have to move it and then click on this and move it uh i will have to activate the transform controls and then hold down the shift key and drag it from this side
then i will confirm let me disable the transform control there take it up here i will go for transform controls again hold on the shift key and then let me take it from here it's better to take it from here okay let me remove this and see how it looks it's not bad it's bad so this is what we have once we are here what you have to do is to go click on the shift key and then select both of them i will hold down the shift key and then select both of them do that on your computer so both of them are selected i will go for layer and go for merge layers so now we we can move them together as you can see then what we can do here now is to go for um let's right click we can right click and go for blending tools for stroke and let's go give it a color i think i i was here okay um i can increase that and uh, okay what i will do here now is to go right click on the rectangle and click on that rectangle then let me get a shape so as you can see this is above the layer 2 if you want to get it down you can go for layer and uh, go for arrange and bring send back cool if you don't want to do it that way let's go again and arrange bring to front you can easily uh, just click on this drag it and place it on top and that will be above it so now let's go and see um what we use here then i can go ahead and right click and go for options and go for stroke and go for this color and that is it so it's good looks good and uh, i will give it a shadow so here uh we have to go get the of emoji by right clicking on this rectangle go for custom shape then here we have it so we go look for that click outside and click uh so what we can do now is to let me click on this move tool so you can see this shape should be above the layer so that you can see it i will have to click it and uh, drag it and place it on top so here we can right click on that shape so remember to change the name you can double click and uh, write something lovely just let's leave it that way so that with this you can differentiate the layers so here i will right i will right click on this blending i might go um give it a stroke of uh, let's say and change it to black and okay and give it a, a drop shadow of three and that is it okay 
if you want to increase that we can increase that by going for transform and hold down the shift key and drag it from here and then confirm let's remove the transform key. controls so we don't have to go get this again what you can do is to duplicate this by right clicking on it and go for duplicate layer and we have to take one for the unique as you can see so now uh, we have to but let me go for undo what i can do now is to select all of them and merge them so i will have to press down the shift key and start selecting all of them after that i will have to go for layer and merge layers as you can see i can move all of them right now now i will have to get the text click on text to type tool and outside please so here what i can do is to go change the colors and color we go for something like this and uh, give it a drop shadow tree i can go for stroke and uh, okay if i want to retain the same color and style what i have to do is to right click on tanks and god bless and then go for layer style copy and then right click on please subscribe click and right click and then go for paste layer style and paste so we have the same and here let me give them different backgrounds i can i will have to right click on this custom shape and go for rectangle and then let me make a shape and uh, if for example this is under this way you can take tanks and god bless click on it and drag it and drop it on top of that shape try it one more time and here we go so i will go for move to and make sure they are in here i can increase the size again hold on the shift key and uh, drag it let me remove that now i can change the background color that is this shape one um i will go for blending color i will have to use something else something like this and this i will give it a drop shadow maybe two three and then i will give it a stroke color of um if i go for black what can i see here how does it look it's not bad then i will click ok now i will have to go get another rectangle and draw it click and uh, move it and release your finger here we have to move it because it should be please subscribe should be on top of this shape too i will click and hold my mouse and uh, place it on top of that too so it's on top right now let me go for move to and make sure everything is all right now i will have to change the shape to background color by going for color and uh, let me go for something else Mm. we're good for this so we can go for this and uh, this 
right now let's give it a shadow of three and then let's give it a stroke of uh, seven and okay so now we can't move have to merge down i will merge down uh please subscribe to i will right click and click on merge down then we can move this together but here you can merge down when the background is in between you have to take it closer closer then you can merge all of them because this shape one is for the background and then god bless is the text so you have to click on that tax thanks and god bless right click and merge them down so this is what we have this is what we have you can let's increase the let's zoom in and see what we have okay so we can click here or right click and fit the area so when you are done you should go to file and save as psd so what will happen is that if you save it as psd if you import it again you will have it as it is with all these folders but if you want to save it as a png so click on file go to export as and click on png here you can leave the dimension as it is and give it a name image here don't change the quality leave it at 100 percent and click save once you are here you can go click on download or desktop you know and save it or you can create a folder like i created and click on save and that is it so that is how to place photos you know side by side in file to pay thank you for watching and god bless you